welcome back students now let us continue with our session now we will be discussing about basic soil parameters okay so let's move on basic soil parameters what will be discussing here will be unit weight density of soil specific gravity okay these three parameters we will be discussing in detail in this session density of soil what is density in general density is mass per unit volume okay we already know in this in the soil also we will be defining the density as the same it will be mass per unit volume only mass of the soil per unit volume but it's not that we have only one kind of density in our soil solids or in our geotechnical engineering so we will continue with different types of bulk density and all let us see them one by one bulk density what is bulk density it is also known as moist density in this there will be it is represented by rho b or rho t okay it is the total mass and total volume ratio of total mass and total volume okay so this will be bulk total then dry density what is dry density you can understand by its name rho d means dry in dry what happens the mass the total mass will be only due to what only due to the soil solids okay because air has no mass so we can write rho d as md upon total volume you have to remember that it's according to the total volume because the next parameter which is the density of solids okay this is represented by rho s is only nearly the same but here is the mass of soil solids as above but it will be per unit volume of soil solids only vs okay so md by v in case of dry density and md by vs in case of density of soil or the density of solids okay so we can understand from this also that in this case the rho s will be greater rho s will be greater than rho d okay why is it so because vs is smaller than v we know that because v will be greater than vs we can say okay so this is a relation let's move forward saturated density what is saturated density saturated density is the density according to the when the soil is saturated okay we can see what is written when the soil mass is saturated its bulk density will be known as the saturated density so it is represented by rho saturated again we will be having m saturated upon total volume okay then submerged density what is submerged density submerged density it will be a condition of the soil when the soil is fully submerged into the water suppose these are the soil this is soil okay this is all soil and water is here water is up to this level okay water is up to this level so we can say that this is a submerged condition the soil is already submerged inside the water in this case the rho submerged means density of submerged soil soil will be md of submerged means of the mass of soil solids you can say okay soil solids soil solids upon total volume is the total volume this will be the submerged density submerged density is also sometimes written as gamma submerged will be equal to gamma saturated minus gamma w okay this all also a relation gamma submerged is equal to gamma saturated minus gamma w so okay so let's move forward unit weight now you know that what was density density was rho was it was m upon v okay now unit weight what is unit weight unit weight is also nearly the same parameter but the difference is what it is 
represented by gamma the first thing and it is w by v what is w is the weight and what is weight weight you know it is mass into gravity so w is equals to mg so we can say somewhere that gamma may be told as mg by v okay so this is the basics now let us see what are the types of unit weight we have in the soil first of all bulk unit weight what is bulk unit weight it is represented by gamma b because it's bulk so it's gamma b sometimes also represented by gamma t okay you can write it gamma b slash gamma t what is it as i just now told it is the total weight total weight of the soil mass to the total volume w by v okay dry unit weight what is dry unit weight dry unit weight you can say again this it's the same so in this case weight of the solids for in a total volume so dry unit weight gamma d will be w s by v okay this will gamma d will be w s by v you can note it down gamma d is w s by v this is just a general picture you can see it's uh, showing the compaction and it's a, actually a core cutter method which is used to find out the density of the soil we will be discussing in the further classes about it further unit weight of solids now if you remember in the den density also we discussed about a uh, uh, density of solids in it also it's nearly the same what happens in this is this is just the same what happens the, the extra thing is that wd is the same but here again vs comes as you can see it is a vs not v not v okay this is the difference with unit weight of solids and dry unit weight dry unit weight okay so let's so you see forward the saturated unit weight gamma saturated what is gamma saturated again the mass soil mass is saturated its bulk unit weight is called saturated unit weight the same the thing but again it will be w saturated means the weight of the soil in this saturated condition when the soil is saturated at that condition what is the weight of the soil that will be weight of w saturated upon v v is the total volume submerged unit weight what is submerged unit weight you can write it here gamma dash it is represented by gamma dash w submerged upon v or as you have written in the density w da uh, gamma dash sorry will be equal to you can write gamma saturated minus gamma w it is an important relation you can write it gamma dash is gamma saturated minus gamma w okay so now specific gravity you might have already heard about the word specific gravity what is specific gravity in generalized term what happens it is represented as it can be represented g or gs okay for this case but in general what is g g may be said as unit weight of anything upon unit weight of water both will be having the same volume okay so you can say this as any mass or anything then this is your g so what will be here in case of soil for soil what will be it the ratio of the weight of a given volume of soil solids okay soil solids at a given temperature to the weight of equal volume of distilled water at the same temperature the volume part you must remember this will be of equal volume so the relation will be gamma s upon gamma w suppose this is for soil even generalized if you had to find out the g for um, say anything suppose uh, any xyz material then that will be gamma x upon gamma w okay so gamma w will be the constant parameter and this will only change according to the substance for which you are finding the specific gravity percentage of air voids and air content what is these are you sa it, they sound nearly the same but actually they are quite different what is it so let's see percentage of air void what is percentage of air void ratio of vo volume of air void to the total volume of soil mass 
means this is the volumetric representation of how much air void is there generalized okay general in general what we will do to find the voids of air volume of air upon total volume into 100 okay so this is your percentage wise this is your percentage wise this is your percentage of air void what what is air content air content is the ratio of volume of air voids to the volume of void it will be given by va upon vv you can see here it's total v here it's vv means it is resembling to somewhat if you remember it's the degree of saturation in which the formula what was the formula vw upon vv okay so this tells this parameter tells us about what how much part of uh, voids uh, in the soil is filled with air okay so this is the comparative these are nearly the same so we can write it as i have written here also s plus air content that is ac will give you one you can see by this and this <coughs> if you add both of them then there will be one okay and what is a, a volume of air obviously there will be total volume that is volume of total void minus volume of water so this is it then density index and relative density these are also nearly the same parameters okay so what is it density index the term density index is applicable only to cohesion less soil why because it is as you can see the formula is e max minus e upon e max minus e minimum so <coughs> for cohesion less soil what happens if you compact it and uh, make it uh, compacted then we can measure a good e a relative relatively accurate e we can say okay and these e max and e min as well but in case of cohesive soil the measurement of e is very difficult the accurate measurement i mean so due to this generally this density index is only used for cohesive oh i'm sorry cohesion less soil okay this is the main idea behind this this gives uh, us a percentage it is a, it's a relative you can see that it is also a, a relative compaction means it gives us the denseness of the soil again as you remember it, the e and porosity all are the same this is also for denseness of the soil in the ground only what is it this is what is e max when we will get the e max we will get e max when the soil is in the loosest state okay this is for loosest state loosest state and this this is normal or natural and this is minimum the densest state okay then relative compaction what is relative compaction it's gamma d upon gamma d max what is gamma d max it is the uh, lab lab compaction okay from compaction test this compaction test is actually a lab method we will be discussing later on so it gives us relative compaction is the we can say that somewhere it may be say that gamma d at field which we have achieved in the field upon gamma d max gamma d max means the laboratory one okay so this its ratio gives us the relative compaction this can be used for cohesive this relative compaction rc can be used for cohesive as well as for cohesion less okay now this is a simple relation between g what is g specific gravity s degree of saturation w water content e void ratio this is the relation s into e is equal to w into g s okay this is a very important relation we will use it in the number of uh, numericals so so this was it for this time let us see what we have done we have discussed about the specific gravity dry density and unit weight so there are some questions related to them only you can check them if there is any problem you can revert back to me okay thank you